All political roads lead to the United Nations headquarters in New York this week. Not only the General Assembly gatherings, but also an important climate change summit called by the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. The UN wants to set out the guidelines and specific criteria leading up to Copenhagen in December. The British Prime Minister is playing his part. He told the UN that $30 billion should be earmarked to help developing countries deal with the effects of climate change. He has previously proposed a $100 billion package and says that nearly a third of that sum will be needed specifically for the poorest nations. Mr. Brown is now in the United States, his website keeping loggers up to date on his work. He had offered to go to the climate change summit himself to try to push through an agreement, a move appreciated by the Danish Prime Minister, who said at a press conference after the summit, progress was being made towards a climate change agreement as the clocks ticked down to Copenhagen. It should be ambitious, it should be binding, it should correspond to the two-degree scenario, and it should constitute the overall political framework for future global efforts against climate change based on five key elements. First, developed countries must take the lead by committing to ambitious midterm reduction targets. Second, developing countries must commit to undertake concrete domestic actions that reduce their growth of emission. The combination of these two elements will approximately deliver half of the reduction needed to accommodate the two degrees uh, Celsius target. So consequently, we need a third element, which is finance, mitigation and adaptation. Today was the success we needed to propel us forward. You have seen many important countries, particularly Japan, for the first time, Japanese new prime minister has committed to cut 25% below the level of 1990 by 2020. European Union again reaffirmed their commitment to cut 20% by 2020, but they expressed their willingness even to increase to 30%. It was quite significant. China has expressed their willingness and there are many important countries like India uh, who have been taking quite uh, <clears throat> reluctant positions. They have come forward. This is a significant, as I said, this is a new, a fresh dynamics which we must seize. I sincerely hope that we can seize this momentum leading up to uh, Copenhagen. Later today, the British Prime Minister is set to address the United Nations General Assembly. He will then move to Pittsburgh for the G20 summit later in the week.